May and June 2023, I sat my A-levels in maths and further maths. And although the exam papers were difficult, I managed to achieve an A-star in both of them. Plan on achieving similar results? Keep watching. I hope everyone's doing well. My name is Kieran. In this video, I'm going to be highlighting the top tips that helped me prepare for my mathematical subject. This video will be timestamped, so if you want to, feel free to skip to different sections of the video. Also, any resources that I mentioned will be linked in the description. Alright, let's get straight to it. Before attempting any questions in maths, you need to make sure you know what you're doing. This means learning maths and understanding the topic. There's so many different ways to learn maths, but the way that worked for me is through YouTube, learning through YouTube videos. In this day and age, it's so easy to access YouTube videos on maths. Like all you have to do is search up the topic that you want on the YouTube search engine and there'll be so many videos to do that same exact topic. The teacher usually goes through a question and gives you a step-by-step -step solution. Now, when watching these YouTube videos, before the teacher goes through the solution, I highly recommend you pause and you attempt that question yourself. This is so then you can write out your full solution and then compare your method to the teacher's method. Or if you got the question wrong, it's easier to see exactly where you went wrong in your method. Attempting questions before actually seeing the solution is a great way to develop your problem solving skills. And this will come very handy when it comes to the exam because essentially you're training yourself to read the question properly and to just practice questions. You're just literally just practicing. And that's just a very good way of developing your problem solving skills. And trust me, there are so many YouTube channels out there. Just to name a few, there's, you've got Bison Maths, you've got TL Maths. I'm, I'm just naming this off the top of my head. We've got the GCSE Maths Tutor is goated for GCSE and also A-Level. Exam Solutions, you've got, you got AJ Maths. AJ Maths is another one who's really, really underrated. But they're so sick because they've got a playlist of every single topic in maths. So you can literally go through questions in their videos. And it's just a good way to make sure that you're good on every single topic for maths. Right, so you've learned the content. What's next? Practice. Practice, 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 practice. Practice on the topic that you just learned and practice on the other topics that you learned previously. Practice anything. <laughs> just practice in maths is key. Trust me. Like all the YouTube videos you watch, you don't even have to take down notes. All you have to do is just practice those questions. Practice and then it will stick in your head, trust me. By doing this, you're actually revising a very, very effective study technique called active recall. Active recall is essentially answering questions without any help of solutions or or guide, just you using your brain and testing yourself, testing your memory. Repeatedly engaging with the material, repeatedly doing questions will strengthen your memory retention. And this is all good, which means that you're able to store that information on maths in your long-term memory, meaning that will stay there for as long as possible. But seriously, practice. <laughs> and if you're wondering where to get these topic questions, Physics and Maths Tutor is a really good website. Uh, maths Uni is pretty good. But also, um, I also have this, which is MME, which not, not a lot of people know about, which is very underrated. It's essentially, these are essentially predicted papers. So this is a further maths predicted paper for 2023. These questions are very, very similar to the actual exam that you'll sit. I'll leave a link to these in the description below. They're really good. And just if you run out of past papers and you need more exclusive papers, then feel free. Um, they have it not just for maths, but I think other subjects as well, which is really good. So yeah, moving on to the next tip, track your weaknesses. It is important as a student to be very honest with yourself. Understand exactly what topics you're weak in, understand what topics you're excelling in. And it is very important to focus on the weak topics. After doing a topic question paper, be real with yourself. Be honest with yourself. If you found that one hard, if you struggled with a lot of the questions, then mark that as your weak point. If there was a paper that you did very, very well in, note that as your strength. Be very, very, very honest with yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's only you seeing this. Like no one else has to see this. No one else has to know your weaknesses. It's only for you and it will only benefit you. Now, one way that I track my weaknesses is I had all of the topics laid out on a couple of pages and then I highlighted all of my weak topics, all of the weakest topics, all of the ones that I thought I needed more improvement on, more work on. And to find the list of topics needed, uh, textbooks are really good for this. If you look at the contents page of a textbook, then it has all of the topics listed out. All of the topics that you need to know for your maths exam, it has it all listed out. You can also look up the exam board and look at the specification and see all of the topics there and use that to help you track your weakness. You know, there's multiple ways. You can write out all the topics yourself if you want to. But seriously, do track your weaknesses. Right, so if you're in the situation where you've highlighted your weak topic, you've highlighted your weak areas, you come to the consensus that this topic is the one I'm doing the weakest in. What do you do now? Two things. One, go to YouTube. 
go to YouTube, type on the YouTube search engine that exact same topic, find videos to do with that similar question, all the topics around that, learn exactly how to do the method, just keep practicing and then go from there. My second point, which goes on to my next tip, use your teachers. <laughs> use your, te your teachers. <laughs> Teachers aren't only there to teach you, but to guide you as well. Use them. They're there, they're available. They're experts in the subject that they teach. Ask them questions. I remember in Further Mechanics, there was a weak topic and I went to my teacher with a, some pages for the question. And then we went through all of the questions step by step, understanding exactly how to answer those questions, you know, what to do. Trust me, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have got an A star in Further Maths. <laughs> Trust me, I wouldn't have. It's important to know that there's no shame at all in asking teachers questions. Please go to them. And who knows, it might be a thing where you're getting that question wrong because either it wasn't covered in the lesson or maybe it isn't in the syllabus. But please use your teachers. A lot of teachers also appreciate when students just come to them for guidance and help. You know, it just shows that you're willing as a student to improve. So please use your teachers. <laughs> Hi, sorry for interrupting. I just want to say well done for making it this far. There are still a few more tips that I have left. This video is quite informative, so use the time that you have right now to try and make sense of everything. Go back and rewatch different sections of the video if you have to. Also note that the tips that I mentioned in this video are the ones that work best with me. We are all different. We have different ways of thinking and learning. If you've tried these tips and they don't work out well for you, then that's okay. I do encourage you to keep exploring and finding the most effective methods and techniques that will work best for you and will also help you achieve top marks. Thank you for your time and please consider dropping a like on this video and also subscribing to my channel. God bless you and here's the next tip. Right, next tip, past papers. Practice past papers, do past papers. For me when doing my A-levels, I did all of my past paper questions, I think a few weeks before my actual exams and I did all of them in time condition. Did it in time condition, did it in exam conditions. This all helped with exam stress, time management, so I knew exactly how long I should spend on each question. It's just a way to prepare you both academically and mentally, just for these exams. And what I did is after practicing these past papers, I looked on YouTube and then I typed in the exact paper. So let's say I sat in Edexcel paper one, 2019. Let's just say, for example. I would type in the YouTube search engine, A-level maths, Edexcel, paper one, 2019. And after searching this, I find walkthrough videos. So actually teachers going through the paper, question by question, and explaining their method, explaining what they got, explaining their solution. After marking the past paper, any question you got wrong, you can go through the walkthrough videos and see exactly where you went wrong with your method. Mark schemes don't usually tell you the way to go about questions. They just put down the answer and then just say, yep. You got it or you didn't. But walkthrough videos actually give you that step-by-step -step solution. So you know exactly how you should read the question and how you should answer the question. Right, this next tip is an underrated tip. Which is this bad guy? Learn this piece. Learn how to use this. Learn how to use a calculator. There's so many functions. Not only can it add, subtract, multiply, divide so quickly, but it can also integrate, differentiate, it can solve quadratic equations, solve some matrix problem. A lot that this thing can do. A lot of students miss out on this opportunity to realize how sick this is. Not only is a calculator good for answering a question, calculators are amazing for checking your answers. Let me explain. If you run into a differentiation problem in your exams, after answering that differentiation problem, you can actually differentiate on your calculator and check whether you got it right. You're literally bringing a mark scheme to your exam. It's crazy. You may know this calculator as well. Let me bring it out. The fat beast. And there's also graphical calculators. If I'm being so honest with myself, <laughs> Oh, expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. <laughs> I'll be so honest, it's not necessary to get an A or A star. You don't need to get it. It did save me a few months for my exam, but it's it's not necessary, like it's not pay to win it. It is cool, don't get me wrong. Like it's a graphical calculator. You can like, you can literally graph and plot anything you want. It's so sick. But it's not necessary for you getting an AOA star. But yeah, invest your money how you will. <laughs> my next important tip is to not be too harsh on yourself. And I mean that, seriously. Don't be harsh on yourself at all. Encourage yourself to answer questions the first time around and get them wrong. Because ultimately it's bound to happen. Like it's okay, it's normal to get questions wrong every now and then. I remember when revising maths, I'd repeatedly get questions wrong. Most of the answers to my questions will be wrong. But don't beat yourself up for it. Just understand exactly where you went wrong. Be patient, it'll take time, it'll take practice, but you'll get there eventually. As long as you stick to practicing the questions and understanding exactly where 
where you went wrong, you'll get it eventually. And if I'm being 100% honest, I believe that getting questions wrong the first time round is a blessing in disguise. You don't want to be complacent when it comes to these A-levels. Trust me. You don't want to be that guy who gets the question right and then is like, Oh, I'm so sick, I got the question right without even learning. Oh, I'm so sick, I got the question right without any help. You're going to want to get the question wrong and understand exactly, okay, this is how I should do it properly. So then later on, you're able to answer any question you want. This is going to be my last and final tip to smash your A-level maths exams. And if you watch my videos, uh, you'll realise that I say this a lot. I want to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. <laughs> no, but seriously, studies show that when staying hydrated, you can complete and execute tasks effectively. Staying hydrated also improves your memory, your decision-making skills, and also improves your attention. Overall, making you more focused and alert during revision. And this means, Bring your water bottle for your exam. Bring anything, any drink you can for the exam. Stay alert, stay hydrated. Right, so just to summarize, learn through YouTube, learn the content through YouTube, go through the questions in the YouTube videos, practice question my topic papers, practice past papers, make sure you keep a record or track your weaknesses. So then you can go back and practice them and make those weak points your strong points. Use your teachers, use them, ask them for questions, ask them for guidance and all of that. Learn your calculator, don't be too harsh on yourself and stay hydrated. But yeah guys, in my opinion, these are the main tips that you want to focus on to achieve the A or A star in your A-level maths and further maths exams. And this is my first A-level tip video, so I hope it was okay and I hope you found this useful. If you have found this useful and if it was okay, please consider liking, subscribing to keep yourself with more similar content coming out in the future. And comment down below if you have any questions about the video or if you have any requests. Either comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I wish you all the best with your A-level exams. You guys are gonna smash this. You got this, don't worry. Stay safe, stay hydrated and peace.